Good evening, good morning, good morning, good morning. And all the people of God said, Amen. This is the day that God has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I was glad, 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 very glad, happy when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord, enter to his gate with thanksgiving, with thanksgiving in your heart and praise on your lips. See, Vanya is watching. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory for the things that he has done. <clears throat> all right. Good morning, Brenda. Vanya is watching with us. Amen. To all of God's children, to all our friends, to all our family, we say amen, amen, amen. All right. Hi, everyone, this morning. If God bless you, if you had, go ahead and play, praise his name. Amen. Chief, how you doing? You doing, Clara? Amen. Mother Adam A. Calhoun, God bless you. Calhoun Jenkins. Amen. Amen. It's cloud on the outside, but the sun is shining on the inside. Brother George, George Goodman, how you doing there? All right. Hey, hey, hey. God is good all the time, and all the time, God is good. Evan William Kitchen Ruff, God bless you, Sister Pee Wee, Katrina Bond, good morning. How is everyone in God's kingdom? Amen. God is a good God. God is a gracious God. God is a kind God. They continually look beyond all our fault and find our needs. Krista, how are you this morning? Amen. The beautiful day in the Lou, the beautiful day in the world. Glad to be on top of the ground instead of the ground on top of us. Amen. Has God blessed you today, this morning? Yes, he has. As you got up out the bed, you are more than blessed. You're already blessed. Caden Ada joining with us this morning. Amen. Amen. Come on, folks. Let's praise the Lord. All right. You got a praise report. You got a testimony. You want to say how God has blessed you. Just type it in the comment box. Amen. Amen. Let's see what music we got here. Amen. All right. I need you to hold my hand. All right. Frank Williams, the late, great Frank Williams. Joe Jr., how are you this morning? All right. Amen. Amen. Frank William, late great. I need you to hold my hand. How many of us need God to hold our hand? That I'm your child. Sister Jenkins said, God bless her with her help and her strength. Brother George said, he's good all the time. Oh, Lord. Where are you, Brenda? Give me my sound check. Pee Wee said, thank you, Lord, for holding my hand. Can't make it without you. Oh, yeah. Traveling from day to day, traveling graces for mercy for those on the road. Oh, yeah. You can't miss a friend. Thanks, Brenda. I made you my audio tech. I need you to hold my hand. Right now, right now, Lord, I can't make it. Oh, yeah. Praying for Har Pastor Hargrove. I'll be traveling to and fro. KD, Kevin Dotson, how you doing, son? God bless you. Lynn Moore, praying for Lynn Moore. Amen. I need you, Lord. Good morning, Sister Cat. How you doing, Mother Cat? Hey, Smith. Oh, yeah. Hold me. Jesus, Jesus, hold me. 
Hold me. Jesus. All right. Any prayer requests? Any other prayer requests? Type them in the uh, comment box. Brother Frank is gone but not forgotten. Thank you, Brother John. Hold me, Jesus. All right, Smith. Millicent, Smith, amen. Hold me, Jesus. Praying for the Vaughn family. Hold me, Jesus. Praying for the Vaughn and Dotson family. Thanks, Katie. Got you. Devon and the Dotson family. All right, let's back it up. Go through our prayer list. Amen. Amen. Frank William, I need you to hold my hand. Little Milton, God bless. Morning, Kenesha. All right. Georgia Keys added to our list. Okay, our prayer list. Uh, Pastor Green Oliver. Pastor Joe Anderson down in Macedonia Dub. Pastor Clarence Nelson, New Zion. Pastor MacArthur Adam. All right, Mount Zion Clayton. Pastor J.C. Smith down on Crenshaw Road. Deacon Adam Bond, Deacon Bob Bond. Uh, praying for Deb Reed and her family, a uh, Vera Bland family, Leonard Conway, Major Conway, William Conway, Terry, the Fox Smith, uh, Quintina Hobson, Antoinette Harris, Kinsley Bryant, Aiden Bryant, a uh, Weston Blue, Sharon Conway, Mother Lori Hubbard, Mother Marjorie Hibbler, Mother Eunice Thomas, Mother Don Larry, Mother Cat Smith, Mother Clara Dishman, Ernestine Webb. Helen Conway and the family of Robert Harris. Amen. I pray a list. And others just add them to the comment box. Amen. I need you to hold my hand. Good morning. Good morning. Let us pray. Gracious and mighty God, we thank and praise you for life. We thank and praise you for strength. And have so much to be thankful for and realize, Lord, that we just don't thank you enough. So we pause, Lord God, stop whatever we're doing, Lord God. Before we go another further, before we ask you for anything, we pause and thank you for everything. For looking beyond all our many faults, all our multiple faults, Lord, and you found our need. And you met us at that point of the need. Praying for uh, Mother Ethel May Jones, Lord God, her family. We pray, Lord God, that you open up the floodgates of heaven. And you rain down your blessing on us. That you continue to hold our hand. Because if we hold, Lord God, we might let go. But Lord, you hold us in the palm of your hand. You got the whole world in the palm of your hand. So hold us, oh, sweet Jesus. Lord, 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 you show sure been blessed us. And we because of that, Lord, we're going to praise your holy and your righteous name. You're such a good God, a kind God. Now, Lord, bless all those that's on this podcast, Lord God. Bless those, Lord God, that don't know you. Bless those uh, uh, that need a blessing. Whatever blessing we need of, Lord bless us. We need things we won't ask for. Then again, Lord, we ask for things that we don't need. But your Holy Spirit able to take all our mourning, all our groaning, present it to the master. Now, Lord, give a word from on high for these thy people that will enable us to run just a little bit further. Bless us and keep us. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. And thank God. Hold me, sweet Jesus. Right now, Lord. I need you, Lord. Right now, Lord. Doctor. Hold me. Amen. 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 How you doing, niece? Good morning from oh, you over there in Arkansas. All right. That was Frank William. Hold me, sweet Jesus. Amen. Amen. All right. Let's let's continue with Noah and see what we got this morning. 
Amen. Oh, amen. All right. Coming out of Noah, I mean, Genesis. All right. The story of, about Noah that, uh, uh, that found in Genesis chapter 8. The whole chapter, verses 1 through 22, but we're going to read some of them. Starting at verse number 1. And God remember Noah and every living thing and all the cattle that was with him in the ark. God made a wind to pass over the earth and the waters uh, assuated. And the fountain also of the deep and the windows of heaven was stopped. And the rain from heaven was restrained. The water returned from all the earth continually, and at the end of a hundred and fifty days, the waters were abated. Amen. Skip down to uh, uh, <clears throat> verse number uh, uh, eight. All right, a uh, uh, seven. He sent forth a raven which went to and fro until the waters were dried up from all the earth. He and also he sent forth a dove from him to see if the water was abated from off the face of the earth all right that's seven and eight skip down to a uh, uh, verse number uh, 16 god 15 god spake unto noah saying go forth out of the ark thou thy wife thy sons and thy son's wife amen and number 20 noah built an altar unto the lord took a very clean bee of every clean fowl and offered burnt offering unto the Lord. The Lord smelled a sweet savor, and the Lord said in his heart, I will not again curse the ground any more for man's sake. For the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth. Neither will I again smite any more every living thing as I have done. Amen. Amen. The whole uh, entire eighth chapter. All right, but from that first verse, from that first phrase, and God remember Noah. Want to preach from this topic? Lord, remember me. Lord, remember me. Oh, 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 song, oh spiritual. Do Lord, do Lord, do Lord, remember me. <clears throat> Amen. Have you ever wondered? If God has forgotten all about you, do you sometimes wonder if God is really, really there? Do you wonder if he's aware of your trial, your tribulation, your trouble, and what's going on with you? Do you sometimes wonder if he cares? Well, imagine spending all this time, about a year, a little over a year on the ark. What did Noah think? What did Noah feel? Did he sometime, like we do, begin to wonder if God has forgotten all about me? Now, this boat, the ark, had been floating over a desolate earth. Uh, they had been covered for water for 150 some odd days. The flood that had been the results of the people, uh, of God's judgment for the people's wickedness. In, in, in our message today, we sh uh, just for a little while, we shall uh, uh, learn that during this difficult time, God, remember Noah. Noah had been living and floating in that boat for over a year. God did not forget him. In, 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 in many ways, it might seem like we are stuck in a boat, uh, in a rock, or in a hard situation, and, and men are just floating Floating on in life. What that song, Float On? And, and, and we just float in. We want to cry out, Lord, remember me. Lord, did you forget all about me? Well, I'm here to tell you that God, yes, God knows our situation. Amen. And he knows where we are. Just like God remember Noah and his ark. I'm here to tell you that he will remember you. He will remember me in our situation, in our condition, in your trials, in your tribulation, in your troubles, in your heartache, and in your pain. God will remember you. Now, let's look at that eighth chapter of Genesis. 
All right, we're going to look at how Noah was remembered by God during his year-long plight of being stuck on a boat. But remember, everyone on the ark was saved. All right. Uh, 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 two overall main theme. God remember Noah and then Noah remember God. All right. If you don't get anything else, get that punt. God remembered Noah and then Noah remember God. My, my, my. Isn't that good news? God remember us, but do we remember God? All right, let's look at these areas here. All right, a, a, a few of them. We won't hold you too long this morning. The, the, first, the, the, the drain, diminished flood. And those are found verses one through five. God remembered Noah and rescued him from his trouble. All right. First, there was the, the way in, the way in, the remembrance. God remembered Noah and rescued him from his trouble. And we read in that verse one where the, the wind blew. The water receded. The well spring was stopped. The windows of heaven were closed. The wind blew. God caused the wind to blow over the face of the earth. All right. And, and, and the wind and the water receded. The water diminished. And the well sprang, the fountain from beneath. They stopped. Remember, there were two sources of water for the flood. One from above and one from uh, 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 below. All right. So the well sprang, the fountain of the deep was stopped. And the windows of heaven, the rain was closed. God, mighty God, he opened doors no man can close. And then he closed doors no man can open. God closed the raindrop from on high. He made the wind that blow over the earth and the water subsided just as God commanded the fountain of the great deep to burst, to burst forth and the windows of heaven to be opened. He now commanded them to be closed, commanded them to stop. All right. And the waters prevailed on the earth 150 some days. Good morning, Stephanie. God bless you. Now the waters receded from the earth continually. It may seem like when we're in our trials and trouble that we just like Noah and that ark floating floating along and going wherever the wind drives us. But I'm here to tell you, God remember you. He knows just where you are. And the wind continually, the, the waters continually receded from the earth. Here, the water was trouble. And they were judgment. But they, God, just like he, the water continued to recede, to dry up, our problems, our troubles, our heartache and pain will continue to flow away if we trust in the God. We reminded that God is in complete control. He created the waters. He brought the flood waters in judgment. And now he commanded the waters to disappear. All right, God, in all things, we got to understand that God is still on his throne. We got to understand that God is still in control. So not only did he drain the flood waters, all right, for Noah, when he remembered Noah, he drained the flood waters. Well, what else did he do in verse 6 through 14? We find that he, he dried up the earth. After the flood water received, God called the earth to once again begin to produce plants and, and trees and grass and shrubbery. All right. Now, Noah on this boat, how could he know that God had dried up the earth? All right. Noah sent out the birds to see if the water had subsided, had abated, or had gone from the face 
of the earth and all of the face of the ground. We find in verse number seven that he sent out ravens which went to and fro until the water was dried up. All right. This wasn't just a one time thing with the raven. He sent out raven and he also sent out dove. But understand it, the raven flew back and forth. All right. Until the water dried up. And, until the earth was dried up. And that's us. All right. From the ark of safety, we go out into the world and we, some of us just go back and forth from the ark of safety out into the world. Out from the ark of safety into the ark of the world looking for some dry land. And the same thing, that raven went to and fro, back and forth. And the dove, we find that in verse 9 through 12, he also sent dove from him to see if the water was abated off the face of the earth. But the dove found no rest for the sole of his feet, and he returned back to Noah in the ship. My, my, my. Understand and remember that the ark of safety, the ark was the ark of safety. And when the dove found no rest for his feet, Noah put out his arm, put out his hand, and brought the dove back into the ship. Well, we are all outside the ark of safety, or when we are outside the ark of the safety of the Lord's salvation, we are like that dove with no rest for our feet. We continue like the raven to fly back and forth. And we find no rest. We return to the ark of safety. I'm here to tell you there is no rest outside of the safety of the Lord. We can be like the raven going to and fro, back and forth. Here and there, trying to find rest. But I'm here to tell you, there's no rest for the weary soul. And when he couldn't find any rest for his feet, he had no choice but to return to the ark. And once he got there, Noah stretched out his hand, got the dove in his hand, and brought him safely back home. My, 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 well, that lets us know that when we are outside of the ark, all we got to do is come back home. Yeah, we got nowhere. We don't get any rest. We all over the place trying to find safety. And just like Noah stretched out his hand to get that ark, when we come back home, God reach out and gather us into his hand and cover us until his bosom. Come here, prodigal father, and witness for me. When that prodigal son in Luke 15 came back home, the father ran and met him with open arm, gathered him into his bosom. Yeah. And the, the door went back and forth. My, my, my. And finally, he went out. He didn't go, didn't come back anymore. And that's many of us, when we leave, we don't come back anymore. My, my, my. You see the flood that God had remembered Noah. He drained the flood. God remember Noah and he dried up the earth. Water symbolizes the trouble in the book of Noah. Water symbolizes the judgment. Then the wood flood was dried up. It means God's judgment was complete. And then my God had one more thing. He said, Noah, I done drained the flood. No, I remember you. I done dried up the earth. No, now 
It's time to depart the ark. It's time to go. We find in verse 7, 16 and 17, what God told Noah to go forth out of the ark and take your family with you. Take all the animals with you. All right. God told Noah, it's time to go. The faith of Noah is demonstrated in these verses because he waited. He waited to hear from God before leaving the ark. So many of us are in the ark of safety and we leave too quick. <clears throat> we leave without being told by God it is time to go. Noah waited on Lord. What I'm trying to tell you, we better wait on the Lord. Come here, Isaiah, and witness for me. Isaiah said, verse 40 and 29, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not get weary. They shall walk and not faint. My, 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 Noah waited on the God, on God to tell him to go. And then God told him to go. He had removed the flood water. He had dried up the earth and he had prepared him a tabernacle. Now he told him to be fruitful and multiply. This is the same commandment. He gave Adam in Genesis in the garden, be fruitful and multiply. Our scripture today provides us to remember to trust in God during the hard time, during the difficult time. We need to holler, Lord, remember me. All right, while we waiting for the flood waters in our life to receive, we got to trust that God will deliver us through the flood water of his judgment. God was faithful to save Noah, and he is faithful to save all who have faith and trust in him. If you ever doubt that God was in control and wonder if he's aware of what's going on with you, let this thought comfort you. God is there. He is aware and he cares. Do you hear me? God is there. God is aware and God cares for you. And Noah, remember two points. God, remember Noah. And Noah, remember God. We find that after Noah left the boat, after Noah got instruction from on God in verse 20, Noah took, Noah built an altar of God. Look at his devotion. He built an altar unto the Lord and took of every clean bee. Noah worshiped the Lord and of every clean fowl. He offered burnt offering. Burnt, burnt sacrifice unto the Lord after the water, after the flood, after God had dried up the flood, after God had, dry, had dried up the earth, after uh, Noah had departed the ark. We see Noah, the devotion to God. He built an altar and worshiped God. When God brings us safely, through the storm, when God gets us safely on the other side, we need to remember the Lord. You see, God remember us, and we need to remember God on our sick bed. God, rem we pr remembered us, and we promised to remember the Lord during our times of trouble. We promise to. Re Remember the Lord when we're growing old and fever. We promise to remember the Lord when we stuck like Chuck in a truck. 
spinning our wheel, going nowhere fast. We promise to remember the Lord when we leave the ark. We do like that bird. We don't come back. We sing how, <coughs> we sing this song. Do Lord, do Lord, do Lord, remember me. But do we remember the Lord? And when Noah did his devotion, we find God made a decision. We find in verse 21, and after Noah sacrificed the clean animal, the sweet aroma, the sweet savor, the sweet smell made its way up to heaven in the God nostril. And God said in his heart, I will not again cuss the ground anymore for man's sake, because man is evil from his youth. Yeah, I heard God decide as long as it is earth remains, they're going to be hard time. They're going to be seed time and harvest, cold and heat and summer and winter and day and night. I hear God saying, as long as the earth remaineth, they're going to be the full season, spring, summer, winter, and fall. As long as the earth remains, they're going to be night and day. You see, Noah cried, Lord, remember me. Noah worked. The rain came. The flood came. Noah waited. And Noah weathered the storm. And he found out that God worked it out. And after he'd been through the storm, after he'd been through the rain, after he'd been through the flood, my God worked it out. And he remembered Noah when the storm, the life are raging. God will remember you. God will remember me and Noah worship the Lord. And we need to be like Noah. When God remember us, we need to remember the Lord. Yeah, do you know him? He sent God, sent his son to die on a hill called Calvary so that we might live. He hung him high up. That hill he went, they whooped him up the hill, and he never said a mumbling word. Yeah, when they lift him up to Nephi, he forgot that he said, If I be lifted up, I draw all men unto me. And when God was out there dying on the cross, the thief on the left and the thief. On the right, I heard the thief say, Lord, remember me. Just like Noah cry, Lord, remember me. Just like we cry, Lord, remember me. And Jesus stopped dying and said, this day you'll be with me in paradise. And he went on back to dying. And I'm so glad that he died for your sin. He died for my sin. And they took him down from the grave, from the cross, and put him in the grave. But he didn't stay dead. Early, early the third day, he got up with all power in his hand. And he went on home. But one day, when it's all over with down here, God going to remember us, understand this, God never forgot us, that's the biblical way of saying in the old King James, that God remember his promise, and God decided to put an end to our misery, and he came down to see about us, I'm here to tell you, that God never forgot you. That God will never forget you. He'll always remember you. So all you have to do is call out, Lord, remember me. Say, Master, the wind is blowing. Master, 
the billows are raging. Master, remember me. Don't you care that we perish? And I'm here to tell you that Jesus in your life will step out and holler, peace, be still. Yeah, peace, be still. And God, remember us. But the question is, do we remember him? My, my, my. God remembered Noah. And then Noah remembered the God and praised his holy and righteous name. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Praise God. Amen. 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 Lord, remember me. Amen. The Carta Cortez. God help me together. How do you survive? How do you survive the storm? Because God remember you. Say God bless you. Von Deshaun, Lashon, Evelyn, peace be still. He remembers us and kept us alive. He held me together. The word of God for the people of God. Praise God. Imitation extended. We offer you Christ. The son of the living God. Give your heart to God. And give your hand to the man of God, the woman of God, the pastor, preacher, deacon. And we'll get you safely in a church where you can worship God. How many times have God remembered you, kept you out of trouble? Lord, remember me. If you're outside of the ark and gone to and fro like those birds, pray this prayer with me. Gracious Lord, rescue me. Gracious Lord, remember me. Gracious Lord, I'm out here. Lord, I need you. I'm a sinner, Lord God, but I believe in my heart and I confess in my, with my mouth that thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And I'm crying, Lord, remember me. Lord, save me. And if you pray that prayer, you are saved. Amen. We've got to believe in our heart and confess with our mouth. Hold me together, Jesus. Hold me, Lord Jesus. Amen. 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 God bless you. God keep you. Our prayer for you. Amen. Let's pause that and we get back to the Cardi. Our announcement. All right. Cobra. Cobra numbers are doubling and tripling every day. All right. And we have to protect ourselves and not just ourselves. We got to protect our loved one. Mask up and get vaccinated, people. Mask up and get vaccinated. As the old folks said, we just need to get somewhere and sit down. We're going too much. We're doing too much. Amen. Now, as so many have found out, the vaccinated vaccination may not keep you from contacting COVID, what they call the breakthrough, but it will keep you safe. They have found that 99.99% of those who died from COVID had not had the vaccination. Amen. God bless you. Get vaccinated. All right. Now, uh, next Sunday, all right, next Sunday, all right, we will be preaching, in, uh, we'll be out preaching in Memphis, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to upload a sermon uh, 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 at the 11 o'clock hour. So those of you that care to, you can uh, uh, join in uh, at the normal time at 11 o'clock and then you will see a, a message there, a pre-recorded message there. Amen. God bless us. God keep us as we go about sharing the word of God. Amen. Amen. All right. We're praying for uh, uh, Rose and Trinity Ware. They were stricken with COVID and now they're on a ventilator. Let's continue to pray for them and that family. Pray that God will be done. Amen. So remember, 
don't you can tune in next Sunday at the 11 o'clock hour and we will upload a recorded message. Amen. Uh, Chris, Katrina, one of y'all post the cash app, and we'd like to thank each and every one of you for your contribution to this ministry. Amen. Truly appreciated and much needed. Amen. God bless you. God keeps you. Is our prayer for you. Amen. Amen. All right. Lord, remember me. Lord, when I'm sick, <clears throat> remember me. Lord, when I'm down and out, remember me. Lord, we need you. Remember me. And we got to do like Noah. When God remember Noah, Noah, remember God. Amen. Let us pray. Gracious Lord, we thank and praise you for life. We thank and praise you for health. And we thank and praise you for strength. So much to be thankful for. And realize, Lord, that we just don't thank you enough. Now, Lord, bless those, Lord God. Bless our families, Lord God. In Jesus' precious name. Now, may the love of God, the grace of our Lord, our Savior, Jesus Christ, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest, rule, and vibe with each of us, henceforth, now, and forevermore. People of God said, Amen. Yes, we're praying for the Vaughn family. Amen. God help me to smell it. Amen. Amen. We will see you Wednesday around the 7 p.m. time frame with another great message from on high. Brenda, be blessed. Amen. Krista, Trina, George, Chief, Cat, be blessed. Amen. Karen, praying for the Wellington family, be blessed. Antoinette, be blessed. Caitlin, Kanisha, amen. Be blessed. Evangelist, be blessed. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God keeps you. Is our prayer for you. Amen. Have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed Sunday.